Hello YouTubers, this is my one gallon Roundup sprayer that I've had for 10 years and it's finally given up. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is basically overhaul it. And this is the parts repair kit that we're gonna go ahead and install. And also extend the wand here by 12 inches. Had some problems here oh, about four or five years ago. And um, well, it's short, but I'm gonna extend it about 12 inches. Here's a list of your parts kit. This is number 181538. Kit contains two pump gaskets. This one and this one, only gonna use one, that one there. Two pump O-rings, this one here and this one here. Only gonna use that one. One wand O-ring, this little guy here. Then you have one pump check valve, this guy. And one poly adjustment nozzle. Before we start the overhaul, I want to go ahead and mention some of the tools and parts we'll be using. These are soft jaws to be put in the vise to hold on to the barrel while you're removing the, the plunger of the pump. Parts brush, various screwdrivers. I like these two here because they have a one quarter inch tip on them. And a bottle brush. Uh, if yours is dirty like mine was, the bottle brush will come in handy. Get all that dirt and crap out of there. And a long screw, uh, well, if you don't have a bottle brush, Long screwdriver with a rag and look white lithium grease. Make sure you don't uh, mar the inside surfaces. Otherwise, well, you could be buying a new unit. So that's why I like the bottle brush and a nice a softer rag. Five sixteenths inch wrench, open end here, and a six inch caliper. I'm going to be measuring the, uh, the size of the O-rings. See how much wear the got. Uh, so if you don't have a caliper, you use the 5 16 inch wrench just for measuring the outside of the tube, the OD of the tube, 5 16 plus your wand tube is 5 16 also. Uh, I got the tube through Amazon and that was uh, gone through Online Metals, which I had bought from before, good company, 0 0.3125 or 5 16 OD by 0.028 wall by 0.2565 ID brass, plus it's 24 inches long, so he has some left over. Um, yeah, I wanted something durable. And $18? Okay, fine. And two brass compression fittings. I got two for $9 through Amazon. I'll put the link below. Other tools which you might need if you plan to extend the wand. Your two cutter, half inch wrench, nine sixteenths, and this is for your uh, compression fittings. So you don't compress it, this is a special tube wrench. And a scribe and a marker. This is the tubing container that Online Metals sent me. No harm came to the tubing. Very good. Let's take a look at the gaskets. Here are the uh, instructions for the various pumps. A little hard to read. Might need a magnifying glass or get a printer to blow it up. Opening the package up. Just cut around here. your old ring for the nozzle, it's already on. They gave you a two. Okay, let's take a look at this. Here's your pump check valve. You can remove that if you want to. Now. Okay. Slide the pump up like that and you're ready to put it in the vise. Putting it into your soft jaws and slowly closing it. 
Remember, not too tight. No, only plastic. And if you want, you can use a special tool here. And like that. And what you want to go ahead and do is, is push these tabs in like that and like this. That's why you need the two screwdrivers. Okay, let's see if we can take this puppy out. There you go, there's one. And there's two. Take off your special tool. And the top comes off like that. Okay, let's take the rod and piston out. And there you have it. Okay, so what I've done, I've taken the caliper and measured the outside of the O-ring. And it was 40 thousandths less than the original. That's greater than a 32nd of an inch. Wow. Now it's time to take a look at the pump housing. <laughs> remove it from the vise. And now make sure you clean everything and with a bottle brush or however you do it. Make sure those four holes plus the one in the center to hold the check valve are all clean. Let's take off that O-ring. You may need a scribe, but let's see if we can do it with our hands. Yep. Hold right off. And you can lube it right now. Now if you decide to go ahead and uh, remove the piston, I've taken it off before and it's twelve and a quarter turns. You know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh, I know what you're saying. You didn't clean the piston. Well, I've had it off before, right before the camera shoot, and done it before. There you go. You're getting ready to go ahead and put the uh, assembly back in. A little bit of white lithium grease inside the bore. piston back in, line everything back up with those tabs, hold on to everything, and snaps right back into place, and you're in. Move up the check valve with your silicone again, and snap that right in place, and you're good to go. And don't forget to replace your gasket here. Just unscrew it and put your new one on, a little bit of silicone. Now for the nozzle, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the whole thing. Make sure it's clean and hand tight. Yeah. Threads are good, looks good, everything's good, and hand tight. So now we're going to go ahead and extend the wand and uh, let's take this off. We don't want to get it contaminated with debris. We'll take the other end off. And you can see, I marked it halfway. We'll go ahead and use a tubing cutter to cut it off. Okay, the tubing cutter is set up. Let's go ahead and cut her in half. And of course, you're watching this in real time. It's coming. It's coming. Slow and easy. There you go. And if you want best is to clean out the ends. And then remove any burrs. So we have our tubing here. You can make it any size you want. I just pick 12 inches and then do the same thing. After cleaning everything up, I went ahead and uh, took a measurement. It's 025 wall inside here. And make sure, after cleaning things up, that uh, compression ring fits on all the parts here. So what we're going to go ahead and do first 
is you grab your, your tube nut there and your ring and then uh, put it into your fitting here thread it on down until it's hand tight and one half turn I'd have if I use the right side nut Good to go. Half turn after it's hand tight. And do the following to the rest of them. And something I forgot to go ahead and tell you. I like to put a mark after everything is seated inside there. Make sure this thing don't walk out. Uh, a little small black line there. And go ahead and wrench it down a half turn. I should only move. I should only move just a skosh, a little. Here's another look. Insert the tube. Make sure it's seated. Another compression ring. Nut. In case I'm using a 9 16 Half turn or so. It's getting tight. Huh? Okay, we're good to go. There you go. Can you see that black line? It just moved a little bit. So we're good to go. Put the other one on. Now, when you're putting the other end on, I don't like to put it in the vise. It might just do more damage. So lay on the workbench like so. It's already been marked. Two wrenches on there. It's a half inch wrench here to my left. Nine sixteenths. Half inch. Half turn. Okie dokie. Now is a good time to go ahead and check the hose to the jug connection. Just unscrew it. Pull the suction line out and turn that in and see the condition of the O-ring. Turning this in to loosen it. Just make sure the hose connection is good. No rips or tears and uh, O-ring. I'll put a little silicone on there. There we go. Now this connection is very important. Put your suction tube back in and make sure that these tabs here line up with the open tabs on your jug. Make sure it's in position. And screw it back down and tighten. There you go. Now, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and pick a wand up, pressurize it. I can feel it pump up already. And it's spraying. Can you see that, guys? It is spraying good. Got the pressure back, just like brand new. Thanks for watching, YouTubers.